This is a contest to promote the use of Tennessee products. So all of the cakes are utilizing Tennessee products with the exception of sugar or leavening ingredients. We promoted this contest strictly through social media. So this was a Facebook, Twitter contest. So basically you can do a sheet cake, bunk cake, layer cake. You can do any kind of cake that you want. We just specified that you had to utilize Tennessee products and that it was gonna be judged on taste, creativity, and the proper use of Tennessee products. We're promoting local, not only with the contest, but the participants in the contest are seeking out local ingredients to use. And we hope that by doing that, that they will become customers of those local products from now on. I'm so excited to have this opportunity to come today and judge these yummy cakes from made from products from all over Tennessee. I had no idea, first of all, that Tennessee produced so many varieties of products from uh, flour to whiskey, honey, eggs, all of it and it's delicious. There have been a lot of different types of cakes and a lot of new things, like we've talked about the biscuit cake, where there was one that's a biscuit cake, which I love that somebody tried to come up with something completely new. You know, I think a lot of times we can make a pound cake or we can make a, a, a cake that we're really familiar with and add an ingredient to it to make it different, but to come up with a whole new cake concept is really creative. So I applaud that and I love trying the different cakes that people have come up with. I think we have some great contenders today and I think people have done a great job with incorporating the, the Tennessee products and that's what I love about these cakes is being able to taste some of the different flavors and um, ingredients that people have used that are local. I think that's so awesome and people have really done a great job with that in this contest. I guess there are some things as a food professional and a judge that you pay more attention to than the average person. I would say flavor is the biggest thing. We all react to how something looks, but if it doesn't look so great, but it tastes good, most people are willing to you know, give it a pass on its looks. So I guess I would say flavor is probably the biggest thing. And here with the Tennessee products, most of the recipes are pretty pure. You know, they're using Tennessee butter and Tennessee eggs and, and flour and a lot of the, the fresh milk. People say in the food business is your dish is only as good as its ingredients. So when you're using those kinds of ingredients, the cakes that we're having here are just kind of inherently going to be delicious. But I think beyond that, we're looking for additional kinds of things, you know, so everything tastes real buttery, which is is wonderful, but how are people using flavors like, you know, lemon or butterscotch or cinnamon or, you know, any of those kinds of things while keeping the integrity of the actual cake so that it doesn't taste like, you know, grape Kool-Aid or something. And most of the recipes in most of the cakes in this contest, I would say, are pretty, are pretty pure. They're pretty classic, which, which is nice, actually. The judges were, one, serious about the judging, but had fun doing it, and that's what we like to see. They're really analytically looking at the cake. Because we've got three professionals judging this, so the beauty of that is that it really adds validity to the contest, and then it also helps the people who've entered the contest realize that this is a real professional judged contest. This is about as fun as it gets, judging a cake contest with a bunch of great women. We are conferring after we taste the cakes. We're talking about texture and flavor. It's great to be able to talk with them about each cake and of course it's just fun. As an editor that is basically producing a magazine that is connected to Tennessee products and local, I have found out about a whole slew of people and farmers that I didn't know existed, which is great because I want to I want to cover all of them and tell their stories. But I also think it I think it connects people. I mean, everyone has a food story. You don't have to be a foodie to have a food story. We all have birthdays. We all have celebrations, um, and I think that this celebrates people's food stories and allows it to pass on to someone else that then wants to start their tradition or celebration with you know, a great cake.
Well, the biggest challenge was I had to get out of the uh, box. I used to use box recipes for my um, recipes for bun cakes. And for this particular one, the contest rules were to use just local products. So I um, had to search it out and got found self-rising flour out of Pigeon Forge and um, basically and had to develop everything that was from Tennessee. So that was, that was unusual to try to do that. 